When some people hear greatest kung fu movie, they think Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. When I hear greatest kung fu movie, I think Legend of the Drunken Master. I'm Matt, and this is number 100 in my top 100 favorite movies of all time. Because anything less is not enough. Jackie Chan is one of those superstars that is literally a living superhero. This man has done everything in action movies, down to the production and stunts, to the music. And while he has done many awesome movies, none of them compare to the timeless quality of a movie like this. I am so sad now. I was so happy and I'm alone with no home. Billed in China as Drunken Master 2, as Jackie Chan's first big movie in the 70s was Drunken Master, the American version of this film was re-edited to seem like a remake of the first film. But needless to say, it works very well and makes more sense than it having a sequel. One of Jackie's only traditional kung fu movies, simply meaning that it's a period film, it's easily his best. Drunken Master follows the story of a young master of the martial art only known as Drunken Boxing, in which you drink alcohol to reduce pain and loosen the body. Wang Fei Hong and his family are smack dab in the middle of a conflict between the British ambassador and the rebels trying to prevent them from smuggling some of China's most valuable artifacts. You know, I'm truly astounded at the incompetence of all of you. If you don't have much faith in the stories of foreign films like this, you'll enjoy the film simply because of the epic fight scenes that take place. And all of them look real. I'm convinced that most of them really are real because of this scene in the credits. They're friggin' bleeding in the face! And unlike Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, there are no wires in this film. Every stunt in this film is real. Even this one. Yep. Why do I love this film? Because I believe it to be the best kung fu movie ever put to film. Not only that, but everything about this film is well done. The music, the cinematography, the set design, the direction, the fights, and stunts. And even the story is really well made. Not to mention this little sound clip. You gotta love Jackie Chan. He brings out the martial artist in us all. The movie is rated R, but the worst words in this film are shit and bitch. Why don't you mind your own business, bitch? Hey! Who are you calling bitch? Along with the minuscule amount of blood, but towards the end things do get a little rough. So proceed with caution. But you shouldn't have anything to worry about if you want to share this with your kids. Have fun and enjoy. Until next time.